What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Austin Art Show. I'm back here with another NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and Loot Crate team up here. This time we got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtles in Time Shell Shock as it's called. I don't think that's the name of a game or anything, but I guess it kind of leads into the figure here. So let me go ahead and slice open this box. So again, this is our second box from Loot Crate. So we're going to get another NECA figure out of here. So first off, we got a shirt, which looks really cool just by the colors itself. So it's going to be hard to show on camera here, but we got a shirt here. It's an all blue. It's a long sleeve shirt too, if you can see that it's got a really long sleeve and stuff there but it's a nice blue color and it has like this 8-bit version of the turtles so we got leonardo michelangelo donatello and Raphael there and it says turtle power again in that 8-bit thing which is really cool it doesn't look like there's anything on the back or anything just a very cool looking shirt i love the colors and everything just very awesome all together that just looks amazing next up right on top here we have a coin which is really cool so it looks like a little one-up coin here so it says cowbunga we have a little like 8-bit design there of a turtle it says one-up dudes and then it says in pizza we trust and on the back side it has a pizza slice as pizza power radical and in pizza we trust once again and it'll eight bit pizza there so that's a pretty fun little coin of course going back to like the arcane stuff using the coins and everything so that's really cool and then we got something here off the side it looks like a little keychain here it says turtles in time sewer surfing spinner keychain so it says sewer surfing and i don't know what it has on the back side i may have to open this so on the back side it just has almost another identical picture i don't know what that's supposed to be of course i not played the turtles in time game so i don't really know what's going on but it's a sewer surfer so i assume it's some sort of creature it looks like an alien like a xenomorph like with the way the like heads design it has the tail and everything so it looks like a xenomorph and on the back side it looks like a even angrier xenomorph like it has some spikes and stuff on its tail but that just looks really cool again i don't know what it's supposed to be or anything but it has this thing and it just says sewer surfing on both sides it's just yellow and orange but it's a nice little keychain i guess just another little thing they threw in down here we have oh it looks to be like a little box i wonder what's in the box so here we go. Oh, it's like a little tiny TV, like an old time TV with the turn knobs and everything. Very cool. And it has a nice like hologram on there. So we got Shredder there and you turn it. It's got the Statue of Liberty and April down there at the bottom. So that's a fun little thing. So it looks like, oh, it can be like a thing you can hang up or something. It has a little hole there on the back. So you hang up on the wall. But that's a fun little TV thing. You can probably like use this in like displays and stuff for turtles. And that's awesome. But yeah, just nice old time TV, like a CTR TV or whatever they call them. Just very nice. And then has the TV screen there that depending on how you look like in switch between stuff that is really cool the next up over here we got a pin so we have another 8-bit pizza slice there so it looks like the same one on the coin just obviously in all detail and stuff looks kind of gross with all the different colors and stuff but it's a fun little 8-bit pin there of a pizza slice and it looks like we have another one here but of krang this time so we got krang there in the 8-bit design it looks very fun so we got krang there sitting on his little tripod thing with some flames coming out of the bottom of it so that's pretty fun and cool getting a little thing of krang and it looks like one of our last things is it looks like big puffy stickers which kind of fits perfectly this was like a big thing in the 90s that I know they still exist today but they're just puffy stickers so we got a cowbunga shell shock and attack which is pretty fun nothing there on the back just big puffy stickers you could use but of course we don't need stickers for anything so I believe that leaves us with our last item of the actual NECA turtle then this time we have the shell shock turtle as it's labeled there on the bottom again the turtles in time box just like all the turtles in time figures we've already done here on the channel so if you haven't checked those out those will be linked at the end of the video but it's pretty cool so it's supposed to be when the turtles get shocked by stuff and they turn into like the skeleton designs but of course has that 8-bit design so it doesn't look exactly you know like a skeleton or anything but their mouth opens up they have tongues sticking out but you can see their eyes up top there of course we'll look at it in detail but again it's another neck figure so i'm gonna have to heat this up so it can get the joints to move easier and stuff but it's pretty cool if you see back there it does glow in the dark at least i assume it does since it has the picture there but there's like a picture of shredder like shocking them and stuff so that's pretty fun so i'm excited to open this and take a look at it just to see i mean obviously it's kind of boring just as a basic turtle and it all sort of like clear design that glows in the dark but i'm sure it'll still be pretty fun to look at and everything so let me go ahead and get this open so here we got the shell shock turtle and it looks pretty cool so again it's just supposed to be a turtle like it's all electrocuted so it has the eight bit design of what's supposed to be like a skeleton but overall it looks pretty much just like a normal turtle obviously just in the glow in the dark color so like the clear -ish. has a green tint to it sort of color but that's really the only thing difference he doesn't have a belt or anything that has you know like the turtles initial so it doesn't specify which turtle it is so it could be any of them that you want but the only real difference is the head since it has this mouth open here it has teeth at top of bomb tongue sticking out there and then over to the side you can see the two eyes there on the front you can tell it does have a band wrapped around it there and then the little knot there on the back in the black but again not in any specific color but otherwise it just looks like a normal turtle you know nothing too special about it. for his movements though he said there can twist a little bit side to side of course the big mouth it gets in the way a little bit 
bit and can rock back and forth there. Shoulders come up 90 and can rotate all the way around. He's got the bicep twist, the elbow, single elbow joint that only can bend up to 90 degrees there. A wrist can twist around and flex back and forth. He has a little bit of like an ab crunch up in there so he can just move a little bit around. But then his hips come up to 90 degrees there, out to the side that far. That side can do the splits. He's got thigh twist, double knee joint that only bends up that far. And then the foot can flex back and forth a little bit and can twist all the way around. So if you've seen my videos of the neck of turtles and time figures, that's the exact same as all the other turtles. Nothing too special about that. And speaking of, here is a just for comparison of the Raphael. So you have bodies and everything exactly the same. Obviously the head's different with this big wide open mouth and then obviously not the collar. And the only accessories it comes with are two hands here. So instead of the two wide open flat hands, it comes with two grip hands. So if you want to put these in his hands and add some weapons into it, it looks like it'd work for just about every one of the turtles. So you could just make it whichever one you want. So it just comes with those hands. So overall, nice looking turtle. And it is supposed to glow in the dark. So if it does glow in the dark, I'll probably just get a picture of it. And so I'll post it up right now. So hopefully it works well enough to where I could get a good picture of it for you there. But yeah, it's just supposed to be electrified turtle here in a NECA figure. But that was all of our items from this loot crate. So here is, of course, our card for it. So there's a look at like the front of it and everything with our Turtles in Time shell shock. And then, of course, all the items there that we got inside the box. I really love that shirt a lot. Everything else is just okay. You know, we really get this box just for the NECA figures, all we really care for. But it's cool to get a cool shirt with it as well. So there were all the items. But that's going to be it for this unboxing of the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles in Time loot crate, our second box here that comes with the Turtles in Time turtle there. But let me know what you thought of this box down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this opening, let me know with a thumbs up. But I hope you enjoyed and come back to see more of our NECA Turtles. So hit that subscribe button. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you stay awesome out there. And I'll see you in our next NECA Turtle video.